Yum, yum. Really quickly, I went ahead and created a texture switch assembly for Polygon Islands that you can just download and use. So go to pixelfondue.com and you can get to uh, the blog either from my page or you can just search for it. This guy right here, search should work too though if you type like texture switch, typing with one hand, then you should have, yeah, there you go. And you can just click here to download it. Then just drop that file in your assemblies folder. So if you go over to Moto, say system, open content folder, assets, assemblies, just drop it in there. I threw it right there, texture switch polygon islands LXP. And here you see I have a scene with one mesh. It actually has a uh, scatter clone operator on it from this plane right here. And so you have one mesh with a lot of polygon islands. And so let's put a different image on each island using our assembly we just downloaded. So go over here to the render preset browser. It probably starts on materials or something like that, but you just navigate over to assemblies, probably at the bottom. There it is, no fancy icon. Right click load, go over to the schematic, you'll find it right there in the main schematic. You can always, if you're inside a workspace, you can just go up to see it there in the main schematic view. To drag it into a workspace, you just do that. Just grab it, drag it into workspace, double click the workspace. Now we are in the workspace. And here over in the mesh, which is uh, the texture uh, mask for that, we'll add a constant. Processing, constant, and drag that in here out color to in color, and then all you have to do is hook up your images. So I'm gonna take my images here, drag them into the schematic, and uh, whoops, don't need that constant there. And I'm just going to drag each image into the slot. I made five slots, but you can add as many as you want. There we go, easy as that. If you take a look at the texture, if you just double click the assembly, you can get in there. And you'll see that it's just what we did in the tutorial. I've got the variation texture here with the, the linear line, 0 to 100. And it's set to mesh part. And that goes to input value. Texture switch is set to input value. And that texture color output is going to the assembly output. And we have uh, all our images here going into the texture switch node. And of course, this, the uh, graph um, input for the image is exposed. And that's what we dragged into get our images there. If you want more images, you can just say duplicate um, one of these images here. We can you can you can add one from within the assembly if you want to, uh, or you can or you can add another slot to the outside. So it's it's pretty pretty easy to figure out. I'm not going to go into it now, but that's an easy way to do it. All right, that's it. Yum yum.